What's going on guys? Today I have the brand new Mac Mini. This is with the M1 chip that just got released late 2020. I want to just take it apart and let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade anything on this year's model. You can see here I did get the 256 gig as well as 8 gig memory. We do know that the memory is not upgradable on this year's model, but let's go ahead and take it apart because that's one of my favorite things to do. So here is that Mac Mini with the M1 chip. We'll go ahead and unwrap this. And it looks like they did bring back that nice aluminum color. They did offer this in space gray in the previous models. On the rear here, it features a power button, the power cord, ethernet, two USB-C ports, HDMI, two USB, traditional USB ports, as well as a headphone jack and the ventilation right here. This headphone jack may double as an audio uh, microphone in. I'll go ahead and confirm that in the description. On the front of the Mac, we do have a LED indicator right here. And usually these do have IR receivers built into the aluminum. The rest of the box comes with a little power cord and it looks like that's it. All right, so I'll leave a full link down below to all the tools needed. First, I'm just gonna use either a pry tool or a credit card to pop off the back plate. That just pops right off. Now, it looks like this is using TR6 Torx security screws again. Um, they have used this in the previous two generations. So this is a special screwdriver with a hole in the center. Now, after we remove those six TR6 security screws, we're gonna gently peel up on this mesh panel and there is generally an antenna cable. So we're gonna slowly swing it across here and it looks like the antenna cable is located right there. It's held in by a Torx six screw located right here. We'll go ahead and undo that screw. Take that screw out. Now we can gently take a pry tool and pull up on this antenna wire. That pops the mesh panel right off. Right away we have access to the fan. The fan looks like it's held into place by Torx 6 screws. So there's one here, another one here. And it looks like this year's model does have a lot of room inside of the casing. And then there's two more screws located right here. If you guys are finding this video helpful, please leave me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you guys do that, as well as that is the main reason why I keep making these videos. All right, so after these two screws are loose, I'm gonna leave it right on it. Gently peel up on the fan. It will reveal a connector, so do not pull too hard on that. We simply just press up on it and that connector will pop right out. Now there are two large torque screws right here and I'm using a T10 driver on these. So these T10 screws do have a ton of torque on them. I did have to use some pliers and push down on the screwdriver to get these T10 screws out. Once those T10 screws are out, we do need to loose the, loosen these two cables. And for this one here, we just get a pry tool and flip up this plastic piece. You can see right there, it's now flipped up. On this one here, there is a little bit of adhesive. Once that adhesive out is out, we can simply just pull on this cable and that loosens that one. And we can also, after that clip is released from this one, we can pull the cable out. Now to take the motherboard out, we simply press on the heat sink and apply direction this way. And that slides out the whole motherboard on the computer. Here is a look at the motherboard of the new Mac mini with the M1 chip. We've got a heat sink right here, as well as the ventilation to go out. We've got a speaker located right here. Everything is soldered to the board, so we do not have any user upgradable RAM or solid state drive. To remove the power supply, there are two T6 screws located right here. Move one more TR6 screw right here. 
Once those screws are loose, we flip the computer up, slide off this power cord shield, grab a little screwdriver, and we're gonna release this metal bracket. That allows this power connector to twist counterclockwise. So this twist is counterclockwise like so, and push this power supply out. And that is your power supply. So that is it for the disassembly of the Mac Mini. This is a teardown. On the front, it looks like there is that LED indicator as well as maybe an IR receiver. And that is the shell for the Mac Mini. It looks very similar to the last two generations they've come out with. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please leave me a big thumbs up if you guys find this video helpful. Subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that, guys. And leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this year's Mac Mini and which configuration would you get. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will try to get those answered as soon as possible. And hopefully I will have more videos on this Mac Mini coming out soon. See you guys in the next one.